If you are a fan of Formula One, you have probably heard the word downforce. In this video, we will talk about what this word means and how it applies to Formula One. Let's get started. Downforce is a measure of how much vertical load is created by a Formula One car's aerodynamic surfaces. At high speed, the downforce created by airflow around the body of the F1 car will be far in excess of its weight. This will give the car more grip, allowing for better and faster cornering. You might have heard commentators say things like, wow, the car is glued to the track. What this means is that the drivers are able to take corners at extremely high speeds due to the level of grip the car has. Downforce is a critical factor in achieving this grip. The tires also play an important role, but we'll cover that in a separate video. Downforce is generated from the air flowing around the car and increases as the speed of the car increases. As a car accelerates, more air goes through the car's aerodynamic components and higher levels of downforce are generated. Modern Formula One cars can generate as much as 5G of downforce. That means at full speed, the effective weight pressing down on the track will be five times the weight of the car. Almost all the surfaces of a Formula One car are engineered to produce downforce. In order to have good handling, the downforce produced by the front portion of the car has to be balanced by the downforce produced by the rear portion. This tricky balance is achieved by carefully engineered bodywork, which is tested prior to being fitted on the car. So, how is downforce generated? Let's take a look. Approximately 25% of the car's downforce comes from the front wing. The rear wing contributes another 25%. The rest of the downforce comes from the underbody of the car and the bodywork which guides the airflow. Front wing. The front wing is the first component to disrupt the air. Front wings use aerofoils to create downforce as well as regulate the flow of air around the car. A large percentage of the air is directed towards the underbody of the car. This helps reduce drag and increase downforce. The wing also directs some of the air towards the side pods for engine cooling. Rear wing. The rear wing of an F1 car contributes as much downforce as the front wing and balances the downward force of the car. The aerofoils in the rear wings are designed and shaped to maximize downforce and minimize drag. The downforce and the drag created by the rear wings will depend on the track and the driving conditions. Cars have different rear wings for different tracks. The rear wings are adjustable. This gives the driver a chance to overtake and to increase the speed of the car on longer straights. This system is monitored by the FIA. A light in the cockpit tells the driver when he's eligible to change the angle of the rear wing. This is known as the DRS system. If you would like to learn more about DRS, refer to my detailed video on the topic linked in the description. Splitters and diffusers. One of the enemies to downforce is lift. In order to reduce lift, F1 cars are designed to allow as little air as possible to go beneath the car. Splitters are used to reduce the gap between the ground and the car. Most of the air is directed towards the side of the car and the rest towards the underbody. Contrary to what would make visual sense, the underbody of an F1 car is actually not very smooth. The airflow below the car actually needs to be turbulent in order to reduce drag and generate downforce. A diffuser helps direct the air under the back of the car. Splitters need to be combined with diffusers to help guide the airflow under the car and generate downforce. Other components. Canards, spoilers, and vortex generators are plates attached to the car to help airflow. Canards and vortex generators are attached to the front end of the car. A spoiler is a plate attached to the body of the car that interrupts the smooth flow of air around the car. As we discussed before, smooth air increases lift, which in turn reduces downforce. This video was kept at a high level. If you would like to learn the physics behind downforce, such as the mathematical equations used to calculate the metrics we discussed in this video, I've linked to some other videos in the description which cover the technical aspects very well. Hope this video helped you learn about downforce. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.